top Absolutely. 200 here, man. That's fantastic. We're going to see a great tournament then. And with all these top guys, we want to cast as many games as we possibly can. And in that effort to cast as many games as we can, absolutely nonstop, we've added a war correspondent who is going to do nothing but find us more and more great games. Would you like to introduce oh. that new individual, McDuff's? Hey. And yeah, his, uh, his name is Minigris, and he is here as our new war correspondent. Everybody, round of applause and welcome, Minigris! Yay! To the Emma TV team. Yes, and we begin. Well, so, it was uh, great to be here, and I hope to contribute with at least something. Well, cool, man. <coughs> and it looks like the tournament has started. We do, we do appreciate the help, and we're glad you're here, man. Absolutely, and it just, it'll just mean more action, more games, and we like doing the request show and everything. But if we could have, you know, 25 games and two requests. That'd be much better than you know, 15 games and 40 requests. So, you know, we just want a, a ton of really top-level games, and we're just gonna we're just gonna uh, work our butts. We're just gonna work our butts off to make that happen today. That's right. All right. A lot of free wins, man. So my first opponent in the first round is Naga. If you want to invite us, that'd be great. And if you do, you should really, unfortunately, in stereo, you need to exit the call and get off the stream. Sure, sure. Sorry, I mean, I hate to sound like a jerk, but we got to be fair. <laughs> you guys, don't forget, you can join us on StarCraft in our Imba TV channel. It's always fun to be in there. Let well, you know, uh, you can also set it up in your uh, in your Battle.net settings right here uh, to join auto join private channels when you join StarCraft, so you can always just show up in the Imba TV channel. Also, it stays right up here. Fantastic. So, and are we on Team Liquid right now? Uh, we are not. Let me go ahead and do that. All right. I have a cube. Right on, so we are online on Team Liquid Right there, Imbalance TV, right on And you guys, keep an eye on that If uh, you know if we fall off, let me know and I'll get us back up Alright So we, we may see in stereo uh, A guy who's done a little bit of artwork for us uh, in stereo, maybe playing Dimaga in the first round. If we can get that game to you, we will. And congratulations to our fan Richard. He got his apartment that he was uh, trying to get. Congrats so, to you, man. And just a sec, okay. Um, and I just received a message from Thunder Spy, but I lost it. Damn. If Thunder Spy wants to message me again, I'll take the message. I apologize. 27 windows open at once. I guess that sometimes happens. He said, you want to stream a low-level Master League game. If he gives us an invite, do it. Uh, Jim Rayner 636 or, you know, just invite. All he's got to do is invite us. Invite me. First person to invite us gets us going because we've got, you know, the, the uh, Imba TV fans have got better things to do than uh, watch a website. For sure. <clears throat> And how am I being? What do you mean, Jim's being Jim? What what the heck? What does that mean? Where? Jim's You're being, being Jim. You. What do you mean? What what the hell? What the hell? What are you dude. trying to start something here? Dude, I made that yesterday, like. Okay, buddy. I'm just copy pasted. All right. Yeah. Great. More hard work from our socialite, Torre. And it looks like we got an invitation, guys. Do you want to join in on me? 
Yeah, for sure. Give me a, tell him to give me a second real fast. I gotta reset the scoreboard because the way I had it set up wasn't working. So. It makes my dog and cat skinny. And runs downhill into our slums. We all try to win it. But instead we walk up around in boots and gloves. Up the slope is where the rich live. In the mansions made of cat. One second, guys. One more second. Why don't we tell him to wait 60 seconds? How about that? That sounds good. I'll be there in 60 seconds for sure. Uh, Tori, do you want to update the scoreboard? Or do you want me to do that? I'm doing it right now. Okay, sorry, man. Thanks. Right over. Understood. Let me go ahead and join in on you, Jim. All awesome. Right. And we are here and ready. <clears throat> Protoss versus Random on Lost Temple. That's right. This is a round one match. So what was the turnout? 850 people turned out today for Craft Cup number 28. And notice I didn't say light. It's a full craft cup. You will be invited to the King of the Month tournament if you win today. That's right. All right. So yeah, I'm ready. If they're ready, let's roll. I'm all ready to go. Take my jacket off here and let's uh, get this on the road. everybody welcome to imba tv where everything is in balance this is the first round of the craft cup number 28 let's go ahead and get into it we've got space cake versus thunder spy and this is going to be on lost temple and as you know we are imba tv where everything is imbalanced i'm mc dust with me is jim rayner let's go ahead and uh, bring it to him jim you take it away <clears throat> all right Five. All right, spawning on the right side of the map as Teal Protoss is Space Cake, spawning at the bottom of Lost Temple as Dark Blue, what Navy Blue? What's going on here? Terran would be th Thunder Spy. It looks like Thunder Spy had a bit of a misclick during his uh, during his SCV splitting. However, it looks like he's back on the beam and ready to roll. Uh, these are two mid-level Master League players, so this should be a fairly good match. We thought we would show you this match rather than showing you uh, a top 10 player steamrolling some poor victim in the first round. Um, <laughs> good way to now, put it, Jim. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, anyway, we've got uh, we, we've got a probe uh, warping in a pylon in the Protoss main base, so Space Cake is not going to try anything uh, tricky, not going to try anything silly. Thunder Spy as well is just uh, building a uh, supply depot in his main base. Now, these players have spawned in the closest possible rush distance. <laughs> and as a result of that, it will be difficult for either player to get up to the get, to get up to building three bases. You'll probably see one or two bases, and the game will probably be decided based on that. Uh, based on that, we will see. Now, Thunder Spy is building a barracks in his main base. Meanwhile, a gateway has been warped in to the top of the ramp of Space Cake's main base. So we're going to see no silliness. We're going to see a full, complete game. This is not going to be a four-minute cheese rush build. We do know that at this point. We see scouting and counter-scouting going on between some probes and SCVs. We see the cat and mouse game going on here inside Thunder Spy's base, inside Space Cake's base. We see an SCV working over a pylon. We see, we notice as well, chrono boosting of probes. MC Duffs, is there anything you'd like to add at this point? You know, the, that first assimilator's down. Uh, no second assimilator out or uh, 
or anything. Maybe, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to see from these players. They are at the closest rush distance, so, you know. Notice that the cybernetics core is, is not, not uh, making that wall, yeah. Yeah, which is fine. When you're going up against Marines, you don't want to have that big wall. It's mainly for Zerglings that you want to do that. And here's the cat and mouse game happening again here. <clears throat> Second assimilator going down for Space Cake. A little bit of chatter between these two players. We see the Tech Lab add-on to the barracks, along with a second barracks being built by Thunder Spy. So right now, pretty standard opening for both of these guys. Chrono boosting a probe still continuing. Space Cake continuing to move forward. We're four minutes into the game, and if we check the unit counting station, we're going to notice that uh, that Protoss has got 20 probes, and Terran's got 17 SCVs and one Marine. We notice that the first upgrade of the game for Terran is yet to be invoked. He does have a... Uh, oh, and we're seeing a Reaper as the second unit out. So the second fighting unit out for Thunder Spy will be a Reaper. And if we take a look at the buildings for Protoss, a second gateway is being warped in along with an additional pylon. And this Reaper, I think, will serve the purpose of some additional scouting. That's right. Thunder Spy is pretty... We I mean... <clears throat> Had Space Cake elected to build a couple of Zealots, this would be pretty tough for Thunder Spy to deal with, but here we go. We see concussive shells being upgraded as well as Marauders being pumped out right now. Also, a factory being built by Thunder Spy. And look at this. He's doing. He, look, Thunder Spy is getting a full view of the entire Protoss Uncontested. base. Uncontested. And there's the... <clears throat> there's the first probe down. But this, this Reaper's in big trouble. That's right. Re one more hit and the Reaper's dead. So let's see, obviously the speed advantage goes to the... the there, there is no speed advantage, really. They're the same speed. Yeah. So the Reaper does escape. And like you said, concussion, concussive shells are... The research is now completed. We see two Marauders at the top of the Terran ramp. We see a nice scouting supply depot over here. Really like to see that supply depot over on that side, just to spot any... Uh, trickery by by Protoss. That's nice right. escape, nice escape by the Reaper. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, MC Duffs? Uh, we're seeing the Robo facility now. We may see some Colossus coming from Space Cake, and Space Cake is uh, doing a good job by leaving that uh, Stalker <laughs> there, actually, just to make sure that Reaper doesn't come jumping up on that ledge and getting a full view of the new base. Right, and all it's going to take is one shot from that Stalker, and that Reaper is dead. So we're now seeing a scouting probe by Space Cake, and it's going to die an ugly death. You know what, though? He may have figured out that Thunder Spy has got concussive, concussive shells because of how that probe slowed down. That's right. So if, if Space Cake is good and was watching carefully, uh, oh, an Observer is the first unit out of the robotics facility, and a robotics bay <clears throat> a robotics bay it was, it was warped in as soon as the robotics facility was completed. There's an Observer on the board. So uh, Space Cake will be able to do some scouting. And this is looking like a pretty good matchup here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Starport with Cloak Research happening, and no Banshee as of yet on the board. Oh, Set food cap, you know, uh, Thunder Spy is food cap. Did just now throw down that sp uh, supply depot, but that's going to hurt him in the ways of production here. True. And he does have a Banshee coming out, though. With Cloak. A Banshee, a Mirage, yep. The cloak will be out shortly. A scan by uh, nice Terran. Nice scan, too. And Protoss really didn't spread his buildings out at all. So this scan saw every single unit-producing structure Protoss has. <clears throat> so that's a fascinating development. And we see an observer sitting right over. And I'm, I'm surprised that Thunder Spy can't see the wrinkle in the... He probably. I wonder if he can see that observer. Uh, he definitely has to see it now. Yeah. Because it went right over a whole bunch of uh, worker units, and look, or a whole this, bunch of fighting uh, units. Command center did just get spotted by that observer. <clears throat> yep, he moved it slightly. Now notice a building swap going on here. Two Vikings. He canceled the Banshee and elected to build two Vikings. Unless, of course, the Banshee was quickly killed, and I didn't see 